and welcome back to the Crochet Craft with live here, home studio. And today I am working on some fun stuff and I'm beginning my journey of another Luminate hat. And so I am testing another yarn that just recently came out called Bernat Felted Yarn. So I think it's backwards on camera, but you can let me know. Anyway, um, I have been working through just kind of testing some new yarns and doing whatever, but it's already out. So um, even if I don't like it, then it's already out. <laughs> um, so I'm just testing it for my own self so I can um, have an opinion. And uh, yeah, so we so we have you guys joining at Lisa and Caitlin and Mona and Wraith and Kelly and Megan and Fatima. So anyway, um, yeah, so kind of working through there. So welcome everybody. And what's on your mind today? Got any hot gossip? We'll try not to let it go into the gutter like we did yesterday because um, a woman by the name of Megan had an idea and I was like, oh my God, I ran with it. So, so anyway, I'm just kind of sitting here just starting a luminate hat. My, my fingers are actually hurting quite a bit just from the motion, but um, it's like us crocheters, even if we're hurting, we still crochet for the most part. I don't know, it, it makes no sense, it makes no sense. So you can let us know uh, where you're coming from today, well, where you're tuning in from, the US, Canada, anywhere else. And you may have a friend here that is to do there. So somebody's trying to, I'm trying to sell 900 scrubbies for a down payment of a truck. Wow, it's a lot of scrubbies. Yeah, so yeah, so, uh, yeah, mm hmm <sighs> So yeah, so I gotta calm down. So Daniel's out working on the pond. So we have a possible hurricane coming our way. So he wants to get the pond liner in before the hurricane comes in or I don't think it'll be a hurricane necessarily, but it will be a lot of rain. So he would like to get it in before the end of next weekend. So we've got lots of time. So he's out working on the waterfall right now, which honestly, it's just making him all lunaticish. So I'll stay in the house where it's safer. <laughs> um, yeah. So when, if I get out there, it's like um, two chefs in the kitchen. We both have opinions. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so we have Jane and Poonam and Sherry and Sarah Simply Crochet. We have Wisconsin in the house. And somebody's in Lawrencetown. Where is Lawrencetown? Lawrencetown, Lawrencetown. I know Lawrencetown. Where is Lawrencetown? Is Lawrencetown by that market? No. I don't know where Lawrence Town is. I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. So it feels like, so I'm wearing a sweater today. Mm -hmm. And it's been cooler than average up here. So we had a really hot July and then it ended up being this. So I am enjoying sweater weather. Uh, where did you get your loom and what is the name of it? It's just love knitting. And it was, I got it at the big, I got it at Walmart. I call it the big W, but I got it at Walmart. It was in the craft section. So I bought it a couple days ago. So I'm kind of giving it a whirl to see what I think of it. Is it my favorite? Probably not, but um, I was gonna do a product review of it, but I'm not, I decided not to. I'm not 100% that I wanna put my name behind this product. Um, it's okay, um, but I think there's other better products for loom knitting out there. Yeah, Wally World, somebody calls it. So I prefer not to run the company into the ground if I don't like something. So, um, and I do that because, you know, people have got to make this stuff and they got to, and everybody's jobs and stuff. So if I run a product into the ground, it can create a problem with the manufacturer, um, with people that need jobs and work and stuff. So I don't want to be responsible for that. So it's easier not to run a review than it is to, um, know deep down that you're responsible if something happens. So I guess that's my review right here. So 
So, but I have to say though, the review videos, they end up doing pretty good, generally speaking, because people want to hear an opinion and they love when you trash talk a product. Uh, but in my case, I just don't think it makes um, sense if people's jobs are affected by my opinion. So I'm just going to continue to do my thing. So I'm just loom knitting. So I draw the yarn onto the pegs with a pen. And I was just at the filming studio, so my balls are a little tight. So I just got to make sure that they are coming off without any tension. That the worst thing about loom knitting is that if your tension's off, it becomes a real pain in the ass, which is fine. Just why do you want to make your life harder for yourself? You don't. So um, I want nice, easy going on tension, then therefore the hat when you're wearing it looks like it was done good so the balls are brand new so they're a little tight so normally we like tight right but not tight tension all the time okay so we finally got mainstay in colorama halo in the north side of walmart and leftbridge the main, got mainstay mainstay is the walmart home label and the halo i think is still coming out in canada um they actually when i was actually um that's what he said uh when i was at my local walmart they just actually had one ball of halo left it looked like it had been um the section actually did not look like it got ransacked which was shocking but you know i hold the customers responsible for that i know that they have people that need to clean but you know, it's kind of us that make the mess. And even if it's not you specifically, it's just human nature, right? So I was quite impressed. It was actually pretty, pretty good. It's probably the best I've seen it in a long time. But I like the prices and you get what you get, right? So somebody's working on that fisherman's fog right now. Holy cow, that's a big project. Did turn out nice though. So we have water down in the house. I think it's by Hamilton, Ontario. I, might, I could be wrong on that though, water down. Yeah, so somebody's looking forward to the rage blanket, the rage. So somebody says that the thumb hurts, my thumb hurts too, but look at me, I'm being a trooper. Have you tried the pioneers, uh, the pioneer women's yarn yet? I've never heard of that pioneer women's yarn. So I am sponsored by Yarn Inspirations, which helps provide all the free tutorials. So I don't venture beyond Yarn Inspiration brands um, because you people like free videos and you like free patterns. So that's where I tend to stick my time. And uh, I'm not really sure how this hat's going to turn out. I'm marling two yarns, Bernat Felted and Red Heart Unforgettable together as one. They're both near the color shades of each other, but I'm not sure how it's going to work out. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Have you tried the new uh, Karen Macchiato? No. Um, I have requested that yarn uh, by Yarn Inspirations, but I never got a response. Um, it's not coming to my local Walmart or to my local Michaels. So the Macchiato is a Karen Cakes extension yarn. So only Michaels carries that. Um, but my lo my local Michaels is a small format Michaels, so they don't get all the the new stuff all the time. So they're not getting the Macchiato cakes. But I have seen the Macchiato cakes, and they are phenomenal, phenomenal. So I'm a little jealous. So I'm gonna I might have to order at Michaels dot uh, Michaels dot um, dot ca michaels canada because i can get it there if i need it but i'm going to give it so you're doing the macchiato with the rage anyway so has anybody not seen the macchiato cakes they are phenomenal i actually think it's going to be a big yarn that's my prediction um i don't have um it here but i've seen photographs and i've seen photographs of the finished stuff with it and it's phenomenal phenomenal so i can't wait to see it in person
just Google them. They're really nice. So, oh, the Pioneers, uh, the Pioneer yarn. Um, yeah, very soft, 20% wool. So it's got wool in it. So some people are already going to be screaming about the wool. Um, one thing that people don't know, this is a little kind of little side information. So Karen Cakes, when it came out, I think in 2016, uh, it was only supposed to be a three month program, which I've shared with that before. It was never supposed to be a real stable item. Anyway, so the audience goes crazy on it and, you know, it suddenly becomes the new rage and Karen Cakes ends up morphing into all these caking yarns and, and a lot of other stuff, right? But the interesting thing is that when they were looking at Karen Cakes, because it was only a three month program, the original Karen Cakes were going to be 80% um, wool and 20% acrylic because they said, well, it was a special edition yarn. But so um, when they make yarn for the retailers, they have to stay within a budget so that it's affordable. So they decided to cut back on the wool and made, and made it 20% um, wool and 80% acrylic. And anyway, so it cut down the price to $7.99, think US dollars, and $9.99 Canadian at the time. And uh, so anyway, when they did that, it ends up becoming a really big thing. But wool is a, is a, is a sparse material. It's not always available because of, um, you know, animals are not always shedding, right? They only shed once a year, maybe twice, depending on the creature. And uh, so anyway, so the original Karen Cakes, when they were thinking about it, it was going to be 80% wool and 20% acrylic, the yarn was going to be over $20 a ball because of the wool, because wool is a, is a sparse material. And uh, so anyway, so they decided, okay, well, we're just going to keep it there. And uh, so, and the fun thing about it is that, so Karen Cakes comes out, it ends up being a, a train wreck in the sense of it was so popular, they, they were not planned, they were not prepared for how popular it was. And so when they went to go remake it the second time, the second batch, the price of the wool had gone up. And so then the, the um, but they honored the same pricing because they realized that they couldn't ask for a price increase, like within a matter of months of each other. And anyway, so it was one of those learning curves that they had because that's what it is, right? And anyway, um, that was just, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the yarn industry that nobody really knows about. And probably nobody cares about either, right? So I've been on this kick today on YouTube uh, for doing short videos for um, yarn. So I get a lot of requests from people that are not from North America to find them stuff, but the definition of what they're looking for and what we do here in North America is different. I don't, they say it, they want to call it U.S. terms, but Canada pretty much follows it. So I like to call it North American terms just out of inclusivity and, uh, so anyway, so we, I've been doing a lot of the shorts with those kind of information lately. Uh, so anyway, so I'm just in the starting of making um, a knit hat. So these little knit hats are great for the charity box. So my, my stuff ends up with charity. And uh, so Angela is with us. Daniel is working on the pond. So he's, he's, he's working the waterfall and the waterfall, God forbid, the rocks don't go in the right position. So they are like massive boulders that require the tractor to lift them in. So anyway, to get these boulders to be at the right angles for the water to, to go down is his nightmare today. So he's got four waterfalls to make. So he started his first one today. Mm -hmm. So he's been dreading it all summer. But the summer is running out, so he better get his butt in gear and do it. So we are expecting a lot of rain coming up at the, by the next weekend. Um, not this weekend coming, but, but next. And so he wants the main liner in because it'll probably fill up the pond if the liner is in. What uh, are your favorite items to crochet? I am Shauna. Um, I prefer blankets. I don't like wearables because I don't like measuring my stomach or my chest or anything on my body. Um, I prefer clothing and home deck stuff. That's why I don't get into the clothing. If I did clothing, my videos would probably be actually popular, but I don't want to do it. 
and um, you know how it is like on YouTube that people, everybody has an opinion. So when I first started YouTube back in 2008, um, so I filmed a sweater and then somebody says, well, why didn't you film the medium sweater? Cause that's what I wanted. And I filmed the large and, uh, um, and, uh, so I'm like, well, you know, it's the same instruction. You just got to start with a different chain count. And they're like, well, I don't want to do that. I want you to show me. And then I realized with clothing, there's seven different sizes for adults. And I'm like, and it really turned me off of filming the clothing. So um, I will have a video on what I'm doing. Um, this is between the takes. Somebody's asking a question about casting on. Um, and then in the membership today, I released uh, yesterday's hat that I worked on that I just finished today. But my fingers are kind of hurting from the loom. Yep. So somebody's caught me too last. So were you with us with the um, with the yarn inspirations? I think you might have been. So anyway, so uh, did you finish yesterday's hat? I'd love to see it. So where is it? Oh, it's right behind the camera. So yesterday's hat is right here. So I finished it. So it actually turned out quite nice. And it fits. So I'm not going to put a pom pom on it. Uh, Daniel prefers not to have a pom pom, but he can wear this. It's it's um, called Red Heart. Sorry, it's called Bernat Forever Fleece Tweeds. It's a brand new yarn. So anyway, um, so J uh, Jeanette is leaving us a like and taking off. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. So anyway, the hat turned out quite nice. It's really quite soft. So anyway, so um, it looks nice without a pom-pom. I like a pom-pom on a hat. I am a sucker for a pom-pom. Um, I think it takes me back to my childhood of wearing a pom-pom. And I think a cute man with a pom-pom hat just like, I know. Just add a cup of hot chocolate and some snow suits and yay. Got a party waiting to go on. Uh, my last partner before Daniel. He looked really cute in pom-pom hats too, but I never made him a hat because I wasn't crocheting with him, but um, um, I started crocheting near the end of our relationship with that, but I, did, I wasn't a full-fledged crocheter like I am today. So um, yeah, he would have looked good in my pom-pom hats. Um, so I, I'm doing the ease stitch with the, the pom-pom hats or with these limited hats, just nice and simple. Daddy doesn't have time for drama. So uh, pom-poms make the hat. I think so too. There in North America, there's an aversion to pom-poms. I don't know why, but so anyway, a few years ago, like it was the rage in Europe. And so Daniel and I go to Europe, everybody and their brother is wearing a pom-pom hat. Women are wearing pom-poms on their purses and whatever else you can pom-pom. And yet you come here to North America. And so we ordered pom-poms for um, one of the events that we did. And the feedback we got is that people hate the pom-poms. And I'm like, you know, in Europe, people love their pom-poms, but in North America, there's not an appreciation for it. So it's a different world, depending where you live, and fashion sense and all the whole nine yards. So I don't know. Wear what you want. Do what you love. So if somebody likes the hats both ways. Um, some hats I don't like wearing pom-poms when I drive because it hits the top of the um, car. Like it hits the roof of the car when I'm driving, which it bothers me. Or it hits the back of my seat. So um, certain uh, hats in the wintertime, I prefer not to have a pom-pom depending on what I'm doing for the day. So be happy and love what you do and do what you love. Right. Um, do I use acrylic? Pretty much, yeah, because I'm an acrylic queen. So have you heard that before? Acrylic queen. Um, I like I like cheaper stuff. I crochet all the time. Um, I can't afford to use nice yarn all the time. So I will do what it takes, and I'm a sucker for a good yarn sale. Mm-hmm. So I ran into somebody and they said, why are you bothering to crochet with your acrylic? 
And they said, you're like wasting your time because you're putting in all that stitch work on a cheap material. And I'm like, okay. Anyway, needless to say, we're not friends. I don't want to grace her with my presence of using my acrylic. So anyway, I had this crocheter actually a few weeks ago. She was kind of had a bird. She was unaware that acrylic is a petroleum based product. And so anyway, that when you see the gas prices going up and down like a toilet seat, yarn is made from petroleum. And so uh, like acrylic yarn is. And so the yarn rates change as a result, the, the raw fibers. And anyway, she was completely unaware that it's made from petroleum product. And so she said she was going to throw out all of her yarn. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, wait, 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 give me the yarn. I don't have a problem. But I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking because it's so she says she's not contributing to the world's thing with using petroleum. I'm like, I don't know what you're wearing on your body, but chances are it's probably a polyester or something that is acrylic based. So chances are she's probably got it in her house and her couch. Her cell phone has plastics. I'm like, I don't know where you're living, but so I think she had a wake up call. Yep. I know. So I didn't even throw her under the bus with a crochet or rope, but I could have. Well. So, I, so I'm allergic to wool and that's why I don't have sheep. So I use acrylic. Yeah. Most people, you probably are allergic to wool, but most people are not actually allergic to wool. They're allergic, what they're not, it's not an aller allergy, but they're reactionary to the yarn itself. So wool has um, materials in it. Um, it has sharp little barbs. So it, the wool looks like the stem of a rose with the thorns on it. And so um, merino wool does not have as many thorns, but the more processing that is involved knocks off those thorns. So the higher and the finer the, the wool, it's the, a lot more expensive because they've knocked off that and it's the higher end wool that tends not to react to people. But some people are, are genuinely allergic, but most people think they are, but they're not. They're just um, reacting to the, the barbed wire within the, the wool product itself. Yep. Yeah, so uh, uh, acrylic does get softer in a few washes. So Red Heart Super Saver is a value acrylic. And so it usually gets softer after they wash it, but they sell it off cheap because A, the market wants cheap yarn. And you can always use Red Heart with love if you want a premium acrylic, which is a higher grade of it. But the less that they have to process it, the cheaper the yarn is. And so Red Heart Super Saver is one of those value acrylics. Uh, Bernat Super Value is a value acrylic too. So that's why it's cheaper. But I have to tell you, um, Bernat Super Value is a higher grade of value acrylic versus Red Heart Super Saver. So our, red, our Bernat Super Value is usually more expensive and that's because the grade of acrylic is higher. Yeah. Yeah. So Darlene, you're making sense with that whole like farming fuel, the whole nine yards. Uh, one of my Karen one pound blankets is squeaky. Now I may try to a uh, fabric softener squeaky. It's so cheap. It squeaks. <laughs> so for whatever reason, I have lost one of my knitting looms and I prefer it over this one, but I'm too lazy to run to the store and buy one actually more like too cheap. So, so Crocus Connections is just taking off. It's like a drop in center. So tonight is stitch night locally for me. So every Monday, every uh, Wednesday is stitch night at our local Michaels. 
So it's my group that goes in. And uh, there's not too many of us that show up, but um, we have a good time when we're there. And uh, Michael's gives us the space to use. I have to sign a contract uh, for it, actually, to be honest. That they're not liable for stuff that goes on in the classroom, of course. Anyway, um, so we were meeting and then COVID dropped and then we stopped all of our meetings. And it's not really meeting us. It just show up and you stitch out. So people knit or they crochet and some people just sit there and gossip. Um, we definitely are really good at finishing the dessert trays, though. So if anything, um, that's good. And we have no plans on filming um, anything at that event. The women and myself, we talk about really interesting topics. And um, anyway, it's adult based and some of the humor just slides right into the gutter. And it's better that um, we are not live on camera just for dignity reasons. And somebody's gonna say, my kid was watching and you guys are talking about that. I'm like, yeah, well, don't show up at my group. So. So, yeah, so I think, you know, turning off the damn camera and whatever, and just enjoy each other's company is the best policy. So somebody needs to find is so what you do is you go buy dessert trays and then you sit by yourself at home and say it's stitch night. <laughs> yeah, All right. it's it's pretty fun. And then the group group of us after stitch night, then we head to the pub together, um, not to get drunk or anything, but we have supper. So a lot of us don't eat supper before we go. So our group meets between um, six and nine, and so um, we then go up for supper uh, together as a group, and that's easy. If it doesn't go downhill during the stitch night, the pup is what finishes us off with the humor. And so we're kind of a rowdy little group. We laugh a lot. So I have one woman that showed up and uh, so she's been learning to crochet with us. So she's uh, just recently uh, moved to Nova Scotia. So she found out about our group and then um, I'm not even sure she knew I was a crochet host, to be honest with you. Um, so anyway, um, I sat with her on her first evening and I was showing her, she was working on, she was working on an expert level blanket and she was just learning to crochet. So anyway, I did not discourage her and we just went through. And so it would take her like, you know, 45 minutes to go around like a little circle, but it's not about the speed. And, and I would just sit beside her, just giving her guidance. But anyway, it's, she's been showing up for several weeks and, yeah, she showed up last week and she's getting better and better. And so anyway, so she feels like she knows me from these videos. But she sees a different side of me for sure at the stitch night. Because I swear like a sailor. Mm -hmm. um, do I prefer Afghans like a granny square? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So anyway, if you're ever local in my area, you're more than welcome to show up on stitch night. It's, there's no membership or anything. You just show up. Um, but don't show up at my home. That's that's the only rule that I have. Don't show up at my house. Um, love to see you online, but that's as far as I go. What do, uh, so what are, am I currently working? I'm just trying a loom knit hat. I'm just marling some new yarn that's just been put out. It's called Burnout uh, Felted Yarn. It's brand new. Anyway, it, it feels like felt. It's 100%, uh, sorry, 62% acrylic, 21% wool, and 17% nylon. So the nylon gives it the strength. That's why they put nylon in. And so that's strong. And so then the, 20, uh, the wool allows me to stay warm. And then the acrylic is like the filler or just regular yarn. So anyway, so I'm here in Nova Scotia. So... I'll take the warmth anytime in the winter. Would I ever consider making a mosaic mosaic butterfly bank a blanket? No, I don't think I would ever consider that. A mosaic butterfly 
my thing. You know, okay, so here's my thing. Um, I use the Loom as, an, as a new challenge. I'm using the Loom because I bought it and I wanted to test it, but... Um, so here's my thing. I can't design um, mosaic. My brain just does not work for it. Um, I lack intelligence for, for whatever reason, but I lack the ability to foresee a step. So when I was a trucking dispatcher, um, I had I lacked the ability to be able to see all the trucks on the road and to be able to kind of position where all the drivers are. And I think that takes a skill set. And with Mosaic, it requires that kind of thinking. And I just don't have it. And don't say that I need to practice because I've tried. It just does not compute with my head. So instead of fighting myself, because I, I was going to put myself up for a challenge to make a Christmas blanket all with Mosaic with ornaments and stuff. And I sat down there and I almost cried at my computer. I just cannot. My brain just does not think the, the way this. So I'll, if somebody else designs it, great. Um, but my brain just doesn't work like that. Yeah. So, uh, so what kind of loom is this? This is called the love knitting loom. It was available at Walmart. It's, a, uh, um, it's the pieces, but these pieces are like, yeah, I'm not going to run a review on this one. I can't say that I wouldn't. It's almost like P. Wickhammer, and if you love it, marry it. Um, I would not marry this yarn or this loom. So, so I don't know if this loom is calming me down or what it's doing. Um, I find myself when I'm passing, I'm pushing the connections back together. So that to me is a. Uh, Sinwood, lo Sinwood looms are like the best, Sin I believe. Sinwood, yeah, this is not a Sinwood. Um, So I am making a loom knit hat, but it seems to be really slow. Daniel actually made a comment uh, a few hours ago. He said, you don't look like you're enjoying this loom. And I said, you know what? I don't think I am. I never tried a loom, but have thought about it. Um, yeah, you know what, looming, if you're seriously thinking about it, get a good loom. These plastic looms that you can buy. Um, um, you know, it's like knitting needles. What I learned with knitting needles, the cheaper the needle, the worse the journey. Um, I have found that when I get a better crochet hook or a better knitting needle, um, I enjoy the process more. And so you end up, people end up trying these new crafts with cheap stuff. And some people can make it work, but uh, some people quit and it's really not them that was the problem it was the, it was the tools so crochet is faster yeah it would be maybe that's what i should have did hmm well, i'm thinking about frogging this thing out you're getting me thinking maybe I should just crochet this stuff. KB loom stuff is really good too. And that's short for knitting board. But I actually haven't loomed it since 2021. So it's been a while for me. Uh, Addies and stuff, I don't have an opinion on Addy. I tried a natty like spin crank thing, and honestly, the it kept jamming every time two minutes. So anyway, it jammed its way right into the garbage. <laughs> Daddy doesn't have time for that drama. So 
So I didn't realize there was wool in this. Um, I didn't check until I read it on camera with you. So I'm actually kind of happier about it now. Yeah, that was tight. Yeah. So somebody's working on the study of texture again. Daniel's going by in the tractor. Uh, do you cotton crochet? Um, I can use cotton, but I don't use it very often. Yeah. What is going on? Oh, damn. I uh, I wasn't finished going around. It's probably why it was a problem. So thank you for enjoying our channel. I put a lot of time into this channel. I'm actually on YouTube like hours a day and not um, any other social platform. Uh, we have Facebook and stuff, but I'm usually here on YouTube and behind the scenes. It's my thing. It's my jam. It's my go-to. So if I tried C to C in the round, I did not know that's possible. So no. There he goes again. Oh, and did I say something? I probably dropped a word without realizing it. It come, it's second nature for me, my language. Just I don't even think about it. It just comes out of my mouth. Swears are swears are a love language of our team. Oh my god, yeah. We're like sailors. We just need sailor outfits, uh, Wendy. Sailors. <laughs> yep. Sometimes there's more bad words in a sentence than there is actually real content. And we seem to still understand what the hell is going on. <laughs> Oh my God. I think I gotta go. I think a, a email just came in that I gotta deal with. Oh, just another row. Do you do any Halloween crochet? I have some Halloween. Um, um, 
we have some Halloween. I don't know if I have anything planned this year, but I haven't really looked. I'm just trying to, honestly, I'm just trying to get from day to day. You know what I could use though right now? Uh, we bought a box of Halloween chocolate. We never have kids at our house because of where we live, but um, we live on a major highway. So on anyway, the kids would have to walk up 15 minutes from the highway to our house. Anyway, um, so we never have kids. So we end up getting the Halloween candy. We just eat it ourselves. Yeah. So anyway, um, okay, I do got to I got to go. I got to deal with an email. And I, and I should write on it. I'm not in the mood for your drama. Why can't I just stitch and be happy? Anyway, okay, so I'm going to head off and deal with this messaging. But I think I'm going to check out that Halloween chocolate box first. Make sure it hasn't disappeared because I think Daniel's going hard on it. Actually, I think I could use it now, too. So why don't I get a chocolate and a nap? Deal with the email later. Mm. That seems like that's making sense to me. Anyway, we will see you all later. And... I'm not sure I'm liking this product project. Uh, I like the product. I don't like the, I think I'm just going to cut my losses and just crochet something. Or hand knit. Yeah, I think I'm quitting. I'm going to quit. That's it. Okay, have a good day, and we'll see you again real soon. That project is not going anymore. My hands are killing me. Forget it. Not doing it. No, 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 no.